Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the PlayStation Tester. My name is Maurice. Today, we're getting a look at Forspoken on PlayStation 5. So this is a PlayStation 5 console exclusive from Square Enix. And uh, I think it's also on PC. But yeah, I'm really curious about this game. So let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data this game is on your SSD. And that's 87.32 GB. The game is full price. So it's a, for the standard game, it's already 80 euros or 80 dollar. And uh, if you, there's also a digital deluxe version that gives you like a, a, a digital art book and a few other things. And that one's already 105 euros. So it's a pretty expensive game. Um, Personally, I think a little bit too expensive, but more on that later. Let's just start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you really helping out this channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a weekly basis, new games, old games, updates on games, even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, um, this game is made with the Luminous engine. That's uh, the same engine they used for uh, Final Fantasy XV, if, if I am correct. And mm, it's, yeah, it's, it can look good, but it doesn't look good that much all what the time. Doing again? So, the game has together, some different um, yeah, yeah. graphics options and some of them are okay i think but mm, this game could be better optimized overall even on a performance mode i still had like some problems with the frame pacing of this game there's it's it's just not really well optimized for playstation 5 if i have to be honest um it could be way better. So right now I am playing this, if I'm correct, on ray tracing mode. I'm not completely sure. Yeah. So this is the ray tracing mode that I'm playing on. Um, it is, yeah, in the range of 1440p with ray tracing on at 30 FPS. Uh, is it looking bad? No. Is it the way I would play this game? Definitely no. Um, I think so to offer the dedicated a better frame rate, especially with a action-packed game like this, should be at least 60 FPS, in okay, my opinion. People? That said, there's also a 4K. It can go up to 4K, so it's a checkerboard 4K that also runs at 30 FPS. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you that one right now. So, we have ray tracing mode out of the way let's go to quality focused stable frame rate at 4k 30 fps and uh standard settings so uh so yeah you already see the bump up into the explains why the people of support prefer staying inside their well do something in the resolution but nah, i don't think this is the way to play this game i, I really think they they should have or used a different engine or optimized this game way better than it is right now because it's really stuttery. And that's not something for this gameplay. Because I actually like the game. It's not a bad game. Uh, you know, I, I've already seen some reviews here and there. Uh, some of them are really, really good. I saw one of them even giving it a 9.5. I don't know what kind of drugs that guy was using, but it's definitely no 9.5, not even close to a 9.5. But I've also seen reviews that gave this game like a 4 out of 10. And it's also not like that. It's not a 4 out of 10. It is, yeah, it's an okay-ish game. I think... You know, what I always say is this is a perfect game you can get out of the budget bin. So if this game gets like a, a price drop in a few months and you can get it for like 40 euros or 40 bucks, I think that's a more than fair price for this game. 
and you will have a lot of fun for that price. So um, let's get to performance focused. So yeah, this is getting a really big drop in the resolution. So this is more in the range of 1080p at 60 FPS, maybe a little bit higher, Whoa. but yeah, it that? gets a really That's big. A powerful magical energy. What did I do? I have no idea. What's happening? I don't know. It still looks good. So this is definitely the way I should play this game. This is how I want to play this game. 60 FPS, the, 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 the graphics are more than fine. And uh, new spell learned. Leap. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, if you have the choice to, to the choose, was that? I would so definitely go for I don't know. For this. Feel more and the gameplay is I actually think. quite fun. You can run, like, really fast and do all kinds of uh, crazy tri tricks. Mana. Not enough mana. <laughs> And there's also a 120 hertz mode. So, um, the 120 hertz mode. Do I have something to say about that one? Yeah. I have been playing it. Uh, I Sadly, I can't show you it because my uh, recording software doesn't re recognize uh, 120 hertz. I can't play on 120 hertz on my monitor. I did play it on 120 hertz. But yeah, it already says, uh, enables and lowers input lag if your system settings are correctly set. The game can go as low as 720p on 120Hz mode. It's not that this game is only 720p, but it gets such a big dip in the resolution. It's not even funny anymore. I really think... Um, yeah. Just don't 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 do it this seems like a new good place fast travel rest, point don't you think? well look who's starting to understand where humans can and can't Rainstone. sleep oh this is well, the only thing i need skill Raph. but thank you healing draw oh that's for me yeah 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 that's good to have so I think this is already like a small part of what we've seen in the demo. I must say it, it plays a little bit better than I did in the demo. It's already a step up. So I'm not going to be negative about this game. I don't, I don't even want to be negative. I think it's a really fun game. But I do understand some people saying that there are some problems with this game. Break time's over. Let's get moving. <clears throat> Let's get moving. There's the guy who can't even open the door to leave. The Baron plays. Why would I need to? I have you. So I do want to try out playing it on 120 hertz mode. So probably the screen will go dark for like a second. So keep that in mind. Uh, three, two, one. <clears throat> Here we go. And are we back again? Yeah, we're back again. So right now I am playing this on 120 hertz performance focus on so this is for me i can see this game right now at um 120 hertz but you can already see the hair and stuff it gets such a major drop in resolution it's insane especially if you're playing this on a bigger screen or a 120 hertz uh, television or any or something like that the the drop is insane there's something here. Yeah, I know what you mean. But further from that, right. I think it's a very fun game. I'm having fun with it. That said, I already saw some um, full playthroughs of this game on YouTube. And all of them that I saw were around 8 to 10 hours long. So it's not even that long a game. 
I was actually quite surprised by that. And for a single player game, meh. Probably, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff uh, next to. Um, like side quests and stuff, but if you follow the game straight through, might as well pocket this. It's. yeah. Eight, nine hours, and you're done. But it's definitely a downgrade from what we've seen two years ago on when they announced this game for the first time on this uh, Sony uh, I'm sure they were nice thing before, that, that would be like a the, the next big thing That's on PlayStation. And uh, they showed off graphics that were like at least five times better than we see right now. You know, I'm going to switch to uh, ray tracing mode really quick. I'm curious if that's a thing. So right now I'm playing 120 hertz with ray tracing on. Does look a little bit better. I think it's more in the range of 40p. So you do get a little bit extra frame rates, but it is a big still a big uh step down in resolution what do you think i am superhuman that's pretty insane so you actually need to have like a 120 hertz monitor or uh television to get like a decent frame rate with the quality options and uh all the others Woohoo, that hits the spot Fancy taste Let's pick up some stuff here, here, yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad game. Right. Are you hurt? What do you think, genius? Oh, good. You're well enough to be unpleasant at least. But I have been playing you better games, this. sadly. Oh. Mm. Knock him dead. Oh, that gotta hurt. Huh. Oh yeah. And also the the, the, the dual sense functions. There, there are some subtle things you can feel, and, and there's a little bit of force feedback in your. Um, I wouldn't say good exactly. Oh. In, in in the in the controls but all in all yeah you know this game is just incredibly mediocre it's it's not a bad game don't get me wrong and it, it plays it's a lot of fun to play but is it worth 80 euros no no this is not worth 80 euros in my opinion well this doesn't look good Yes, something seems to have drawn the break here. But I expect you can clear it away with your powers. Here we go. I don't know what this is. Take a closer look. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Healing effects. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, you guys, this is um, Forspoken on PlayStation 5. And yeah, like I said, it's a fun game. And if you can get this game for uh, a nice price uh, in the range of 40, 50 euros or so, I think it's more than fair game. It's, it's, it's a fun game. I'm not going to bash it or anything. Is it worth 80 euros? No, no, nowhere close. But yeah, further than that, have fun. I would say, I really want to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.